Well, it's been a minute since I've done a porch chat. Maybe because it's been just too darn hot to sit on the porch. <laughs> it's 90 degrees right now. It's about quarter to six and it's just crazy. <laughs> I'm on the back porch on the deck. I'm a little nervous about the deck because it got shaken up pretty bad in the earthquake a few months ago. I haven't felt good about it since, but I did have some people come by and look at it and I'm going to get it fixed and they said it was it was in pretty good shape just from looking at it but we'll see <laughs> if I'm still sitting here at the end of the uh, at the end of the video we will know they're right but I am getting it fixed um, which probably is overdue anyway the earthquake well we get earthquakes here pretty regularly but this one was particularly strong at least it was strong where I was and the whole house shook I could see the house shaking. I could feel the house shaking. I could hear the house shaking. Sometimes I can feel it, but I don't really see it. Or this was all of those things. I was just sitting in my chair at the table thinking, what the heck is going on? When is this gonna end? And later on I saw what the deck looked like and I thought, hmm, you know, it just shook, shook an old house, uh, old loose house even looser. <laughs> So it's been six years since I moved here. I moved here in 2018. Did not know what I was getting into. Had no clue what I was getting into. Uh, and no one could stop me, <laughs> even if they told me. I got out of the car. The minute I got out of the car, I looked around from the road and I knew that this was it. I don't know if you've ever had the experience of falling in love at first sight. This was it. Uh, but like a lot of these first sight in love type relationships it takes a while to realize that um, just because you're in love with them doesn't mean doesn't mean that they're perfect. Uh, Got to decide if you can live with that or not. So I've decided I guess I can live with it because here I am six years later and it has been definitely a huge learning curve just from the basic stuff like living on a dirt road and the animals all the strange sounds you heard the winters here are very hard not as hard as a lot of places but hard for me because i'm not used to it um the summers are very hard the summer was very hard and just the maintenance taking care of a place like this i'm on half an acre a little more than half an acre and there's things like tree management i've had to treat I've I've had to have trees taken down. I have to have everything mowed every year, number one for fire prevention, and number two, just to keep things down. Um, I think I've mentioned once or twice that a few months ago, I saw a wild pig up like right around the corner down the, down the road. And uh, they, over the years, I've heard one or two snorts and I had a family member who was up here about five years ago and he heard a snorting sound and I heard that there's some, pigs over the ridge and I know there are pigs in the uh, county but this is as close as I've ever seen one to my house and I told all the neighbors and it's not good news <laughs> people have to know so I want to keep you know I want to keep everything down here to prevent um, a place for them to be because I've heard some snorting out there in the past and as you can see behind me there's plenty of trees and there's thousands of acres of mountains and a forest and all sorts of stuff like right behind me. So if my little half acre is mowed down, I don't worry too much about them not having a habitat. <laughs> Just not at my house. Fortunately, I'm about an hour and 15 minutes, an hour and a half from where I was living previously. And I have so many friends. I lived in the same area for 30 years. I have so many friends down there and with the proximity, the relative proximity, I can still see them, which is really, really great. My family's within that parameter. Um, I'm close to the airport. So that's been okay, but it's been a little bit of a change. It's taken me some time to um, make friends up here and I'm, I'm doing that. I'm slowly doing that. I've met amazing, wonderful people and that's been very, very rewarding, but it's also a kind of a change. It's uh, an adjustment. And because of where I live, the difficulty of getting here, um, you know, I've had a couple friends visit me up here once, and then I, I generally visit when I'm down there. I go visit my kids, I go visit my family. Um, there's some towns in between where I live and where other people live where we, we can meet from time to time, but 
I don't have a lot of guests up here. I have some guests who are local, who are used to driving around the mountains up here and dirt roads and all that sort of stuff. But my family and friends from before, not so much. But because I'm close, I can still still be in touch and still have those relationships. Weather has also been a roadblock. <laughs> Summer I get around, not so much a problem, but in the winter, I'm right off that mountain road with all of the trees and uh, boulders coming down. They're trying to fix, trying to fix that mountain now. They fixed something the year before, a big mudslide area. And now they're trying to fix another mudslide area, so it doesn't turn into another, another mudslide. But I mean, we're talking boulders in the road, and a couple times I've had to go and get some medical stuff done in the winter, and that is scary going down like this going down like this and you're not sure if there's black ice there or if something's going to slide off the mountain if i see rubble on the shoulder i know i'm i'm not coming back down there for a while <laughs> it means that things are loose we have a wonderful road service from caltrans here because it's a state highway but still i mean you can only do so much and, and go so fast uh, Mother Nature. <laughs> also, these storms bring power outages of several days in length, um, which is kind of new to me. I mean, I'm used to power outages of a couple of hours because I was always fairly urban, but now we have several days worth. I'm at the end of the county. There's less people here. It's not as much of a priority as more populated areas, or shall we say relatively populated our areas. They do get out here, but it's usually a day or two after um, further in is. Fortunately, I live right by the casino, which is always open no matter what the power outage is, and I can still get into town if I need stuff. I've been put to the test, but it is nice not to have to. And I can be here pretty independently, uh, even without power for, you know, a significant amount of time. So all these preparedness skills and, um, I guess self-sufficiency skills have been something I have really learned up here. I've had to learn them and I've wanted to learn them. It's um, empowering, I guess you could say. I've fully retired since I came up here. Uh, I was going to retire when I came up here, but I worked a couple more years. I worked in uh, caregiving, in-home caregiving, which has been so amazing. I've met friends through that. Some of my clients have become friends. Other caregivers have other caregivers have become friends and I'll tell you something if you move to a new community working a little bit is a good way to get into um, meeting people I don't know who I would have met just staying here at the house it's really been good also my um, volunteer work at the food bank has been awesome that way too several times a month I'm out there in the parking lot throwing food in cars and running around and meeting other community minded people so that's been a great benefit also Something I've become way too familiar with is fires. Oh my gosh. I, when I moved here, there was a fire going on um, in the north part of the county, huge fire. Actually, I think it was a couple counties were involved. That was like when I moved here. And we've had some enormous fires, um, just enormous. But I've noticed over the years that fires are caught quicker and faster here. I mean, there's still going to be the situations of fires that get completely out of control and sometimes, and there's nothing can be done about them. The park fire, which we had by Chico, um, like I think over 400,000 acres were burned during the summer and they could not get on top of that. Yet I know that every resource available was put into it. As much as has been done and as much progress has been done, and as much new um, equipment and training that they've done, an enormous amount has been done. But there's still always that, that little um, worry that uh, maybe the next one's gonna be the one that gets completely out of control. My little cabin across the way is finished. Um, like electrical's finished and I've talked to some good vendors I know who are going to finish the inside, clean it up and repaint and just tighten it up and I'll give you guys a tour. I'm doing it very slowly and doing it over a period of time as I go and I finally got that cabin done and that will definitely help me with a lot of my expenses here and then as I go I'll get this house done. That in itself has been an experience doing all of that. <laughs>
So that's been my six years here. I feel fortunate to have had every single one of them. The good, the bad, the challenging, the heartbreaking, the happy, <laughs> the expenses. <laughs> I would like many more years here. I realize I'm not getting any younger and that in a heartbeat, you know, something could happen and this might not be sustainable for me to live here anymore. I do have a backup plan for that. But in the meanwhile, I'm enjoying every minute. This is an experience I never expected. I never could have planned for, but it's been a wonderful experience nonetheless. And I want many more years of it. <laughs> thank you for accompanying me on this journey so far. And thank you so much for watching.